the company filed for insolvency, which is a process judicially. We will not just sit back and say it's unrealistic. We will fight if we lose. If we lose at the end, we lose, but we will not give up. The world steel market has taken a shock. And in this global environment, that shock hit Trinidad and Tobago in the middle when local steel manufacturing giant ArcelorMittal closed up operations, leaving close to 1,000 workers on the breadline, with most of them only receiving one month's salary and some nothing. It's been three months since the ArcelorMittal plant was closed, leaving many with no real income. We share the stories of a few and the coping mechanisms being put in place to help those affected and their families. What I was doing, carrying the burden, which a man's supposed to do and doing everything, and now that whole lifestyle has changed, right? When I tell you it changed, that it was affecting me. It affected me, actually, because I can't do the things that I want to do. I do for my house. I have the loan to pay on, on this house do the credit union and you come just and say that is it for me and you gave me nothing so you treated me which in other words as in Trinidad balance you treated me like a dog. Curtis Diamond 55 was a dispatcher at the Point Lisa's plant. The steel plant is all he knew as he started working there in the 90s but Curtis has taken his termination in stride. He has become innovative using his talent cooking and has now opened a small shop at his home. Curtis says it hurts knowing that he put so many years in the company and not getting a cent hurts even more. If it wasn't for God, I don't know how I would have handled this because I would have been real. But I'm trusting God that, you know, some way along the line, this man going to really see it fit and pay with people with the money. Because you need to give me my severance. You need to give me my pension that I contribute, my savings plans that I put my money in and you're not giving me my money so here so come on i good you understand some of the brethren they ain't taking it nice some of them draw down because it's pressure because this is a livelihood they know nothing else this is all they know aslo metal's closure has also had a rippling effect as other companies including tube city also located on the point lisa's industrial estate has sent home staff as we continue this three-part series tomorrow, we will tell you about the mechanisms that can be used to help these workers cope. We speak to occupational therapist Sophie Emily Brown. Auto Carrington, CNC3 News, Shogonas.